What's going on, y'all? Check it out. Back again with another episode. And we soup in today. Soup in us some turkey necks, y'all. Turkey necks. And they're going to be so tasty. Just a one bag meal. And when we done, we going to eat y'all. But anyway, let's get it. And while you here, don't forget to give me that LSF. What's that you say? That's that like, share, and subscribe. That like, share, and subscribe. And if this is your first time here, glad you're here. Hope you become part of the LSS family, y'all. Because we love Tasty. So first thing we got to do, you know we got to rain on. Got to hit a little, little song. A little count. We get that done. We're gonna go ahead and cut open our green tomatoes. Oh yeah, yeah. We have green tomatoes with our turkey now. And it's all going in that soup be bag. Yes it is. So we just gonna do a basic little chop on these. Chop them in half. And once we get chopped in half, Slice these in the three. One, two, three. Then we're gonna start on our onion. Bop, bop, bop. Just a quick chop. Just a quick chop, y'all. So let's grab our sous vide bag. We're gonna add in our turkey neck. These are seasoned to perfection, y'all. To perfection. Once we get them next in, we're going to add in our veg, which is our onion and our tomatoes. Our green tomatoes, y'all. Green. Now that is totally optional. If you don't have them, don't worry about it. And then we gonna add in one cup of chicken stock. Now when you add liquid into a bag that you gonna vacuum seal, you kinda wanna fold it like this. And then set it down and keep that liquid in the back. And then attach it to your vacuum seal. Back it down. And when you start seeing that liquid start pulling into your machine, hit your stop button and then just seal it. At least that's how my vacuum sealers work. Now, all work different. All vacuum sealers don't work the same. Yours may work a little different. But this is how mine work. So once we get that sealed up, we're going to get into our sous vide machine. And our sous vide machine is set at 185 degrees for six hours and after the six hours this is what we got y'all this is what we got it's called dinner yes sir yes sir so now the only thing we want to do is pour off our juice into a pan 
Now, basically, the reason that I'm doing this because we can eat, eat our turkey next right now. The reason that I'm doing this is to create a gravy right quick. Quick gravy, you know. Our juice is just a little bit too thin right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our juice in, then we're gonna get our turkey necks into our pan. And they're already cooked to perfection, y'all. Cooked to perfection. I mean, if you like turkey necks, you'll like this. And then we're gonna get all our veg in. I just did it slow like that so I wouldn't splash juice all over my stove. Then we're going to give that a quick mix. Just to spread it evenly out. And we're just going to bring this up to a boil. And once it comes up to a boil, we're going to add in our slurry. Get that a mix. Get everything thickened up. Now, just the consistency that I'm looking for. But hey, you might like yours a little bit thicker. You might like it a little bit thinner. You know. Make your gravy the way you like your gravy. But this here is perfect for me. So let's play it up. So I have me a pot of rice cooking and it's ready to go, y'all. So now I'm coming in with my turkey necks and that beautiful gravy that we just created. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Talk about tasty, y'all. And y'all know me, you know I hurt myself. Wifey ain't even eat nothing but one. I ate all the rest. I was being greedy, y'all. But anyway. Y'all know what time it is. Love, peace. And keep it grilling, y'all. See ya.